poor deer trapped in the middle of the ice. He could not stand up and was exhausted. Fortunately, it was possible to supply him. Rescuers carefully pulled him back to shore. Thank God the worst for him is behind. This abandoned horse was in real danger, in really bad condition. It is so sad to see her. She was standing, but now she's in real danger of not getting up again. It's just disgusting if somebody could let an animal go this far like this. She's one of the thinnest horses Gonzalez has ever seen. They don't know how long she's been left like this, but definitely for a long time. The staff in the rehab center named her Giselle. They started to refeed her slowly. She's just enjoying being rubbed and loved. She just feels safe and secure. Giselle has made a remarkable recovery. Now she's gained a lot of muscle. Her natural, perky personality has recovered. She likes to talk. She feels herself she's the best one here, like a prima donna. But she is a really pretty girl, so we don't blame her. It's so great to see this girl happy and healthy. His hoof had been run over, and the kind person had tried the rag to stop the bleeding. His protective mother panicked when she thought they were taking her baby from her. But she didn't need to worry because she was coming too. The toe of one hoof had been torn and would need many weeks of treatment to heal. Meet Bambi today. His leg is almost healed. With his mother nearby, he played, explored, and healed. But always found time for a comfort feed. He can't stop jumping and playing with the sibling. It is such a happiness to see this boy healthy and cheerful. This rescuer team came to get the baby raccoons out of the house. It was a difficult challenge to get them. Look at these cute little babies. I'd like to have a glove, but... <laughs> it's okay. Their eyes are just opening. They were pretty confined to this area, and the mom has run out. They set up the baby box right where the mother will come out, and then she'll be able to take babies to an alternate den site. She took one baby. The other baby is still in here. He was okay in there. They left him for another night. The next day, the babies were all gone. That's great. She needed more time to grab him. Now the family is reunited in a safe place. This poor turtle girl was stuck in rocks and could not free herself. These guys worked a lot to free her. It was so nice to see her go out from the sand. Finally, the turtle was released and came back to the blue ocean to her friends. It's a story about a bat boy. He had a fracture on his wrist. The joints were all bending the wrong way and the wing wouldn't fold up. Hey. Hey. You tell me about it. Whatever the cause or the exact anatomical issue, this wasn't an injury that would survive to be able to fly again well enough for release. So unfortunately, it was decided to make him a euthanasia. They gave him some grape to make him a bit happy for the last time. He settled down to nom-nomming them in a gradually calmer way, stuffing his cheeks like a chipmunk. Unfortunately, chipmunk wasn't ever going to be able to be released with his wing damage but at least he went out with a face full of grapes and had some last delights. There are two newborn baby goats. These babies are a bit too small to walk on the floor of the goat barn, so their legs are stuck. A man came out to help them not get stuck in their legs anymore. These cute baby goats will learn to walk more carefully.
you go up that end and slow them down, yeah, and I'll try and get it out of the road. Poor Cookery sat on the edge of the road. What a relief that the bird seems to have perked up. Probably he's been hit by a car, but doesn't seem to be any major damage to him. The bird was pretty exhausted. It's fantastic to see the birdie eating. It's now day five and you can see he's doing really well, picking up a lot of strength and even growing back some of the feathers that were damaged. It's so nice to see this baby healthy and happy, ready to fly away. It is a rabbit. It's a wild rabbit. Even after 34 years of saving animals from weird situations, Simon is still amazed by some cases. He never had to deal with a wild rabbit stuck in a car engine before. Mr. Bunny didn't want to leave the car or be caught. Suddenly, the rabbit took matters into his own paws, found a way out underneath the back of the car, and ran towards a busy road. Simon carefully grabbed him. Yeah, he was stressed and frightened. Now he can go free back to the wild where he belongs. Look! Wow, that was cool! He's running in a dead straight line! Back to his wildlife. The dog's gonna be about 50 oh, yo, yo, yards yo, yo, out. Yo, yo. Hey, John! Where you going? A dog named Kona had fallen through the ice and was trapped. This poor dog was there totally alone without any hope. Without hesitation, Jonathan jaunted across the ice and went in after him, bringing him safely back to land and reuniting him with his owner. Just imagine, what a big relief for Kona and his owner. Animals often get in trouble during winter. This exhausted deer had wandered onto the partially frozen lake, fallen, and was not able to get up. This guy was successfully rescued, brought to land, and given time to rest before releasing. Be careful on the ice, bro! A ginger tomcat has strayed onto a neighboring balcony and is now stuck. It's kinda hard to believe. His neighbor opposite is risking his own life to rescue his cat. Now for the return. If the cat struggles, they could both be unbalanced. Thankfully, the cat is placid, and miraculously, the neighbor's reckless and ill-advised rescue effort doesn't end in disaster. This is the end of my list of stories for today. Really hope you'll support all these brave people with your likes, subscriptions, and donations. See ya!